Hello, everyone. Today, we'll try to figure out what's happening when your shoulder hurts and your arm won't lift up. This is a very common issue. Many of our patients come with exactly this complaint. And to be honest, the shoulder is one of the hardest joints to treat. It often takes time and patience to get good results. So let's go step by step and understand why it happens and what really helps to restore movement without surgery. Why the shoulder is so complex. The shoulder is the most mobile and most complex joint in our body. And as with anything complex, it tends to break easily. The most problematic area is called the subacromial space, a tiny gap between the shoulder blade, scapula, and the upper arm bone. Inside this narrow space run several tendons that lift and rotate your arm in different directions. The interesting part is that these tendons are only 1 to 2 millimeters thinner than the space itself. Everything is perfectly balanced until something goes wrong. If even a small swelling or micro-injury occurs, the tendon no longer fits freely. It gets pinched between the bones. This is what we call impingement syndrome, or the collision syndrome, and what really helps to restore movement without surgery. How it happens. Let's imagine a simple example. A person with a naturally narrow subacromial space decides to clean or paint the ceiling, lift a heavy object overhead, or just keep the arm raised for too long. The tendon rubs against the bone, gets irritated and inflamed, and then swells. Once swelling appears, the tendon can no longer glide through that tiny gap. It becomes trapped and painful. The first symptom, you can lift your arm only to shoulder level, about 90 degrees, and then a sharp pain stops you. If ignored for weeks or months, the movement becomes even more limited, only up to 45 degrees, and in severe cases, the arm freezes completely. This is known as frozen shoulder. First step, reduce inflammation. There's no universal cure, but the first and most important step is to reduce inflammation. This is done by injecting an anti-inflammatory medication into the subacromial bursa, the small fluid-filled sac that lubricates and protects the tendons. It's crucial that the injection is placed accurately, ideally under ultrasound guidance, so the medicine reaches exactly the right spot. After the procedure, pain often improves quickly, sometimes even within hours. Some patients regain partial movement right away. But that's just the beginning. To fully recover, you need proper rehabilitation. Rehabilitation, the key to recovery. Rehabilitation is the most important part of treatment. Its goal is to restore proper shoulder biomechanics, to widen the subacromial space, and gently pull the shoulder joint downward so the tendon can move freely again. This is achieved through kinesiotherapy, movement therapy guided by a professional. It's not fitness or random exercise. It's a set of precise, safe movements that gradually bring back flexibility, strength, and coordination. Supportive treatments. Another highly effective method is shockwave therapy. It provides several important effects. One, it helps break down calcium deposits, hydroxyapatite. Two, it improves blood flow and microcirculation. Three, it relieves muscle tension and pain. We also include professional massage, modern physiotherapy, and home exercise education so the patient can maintain results after the clinic. Treatment results and statistics. In our practice, around 90% of patients fully recover with this combined approach. About 10% need more time, but with patience and regular rehabilitation, we achieve success in up to 98% of cases. Only about 2% ultimately require surgery. And an interesting study from Finland confirmed this. They followed 500 patients who had surgery and 500 who were treated conservatively. After several years, both groups had the same outcome. This means 
proper non-surgical therapy can be just as effective as an operation. Don't ignore shoulder pain. If your shoulder hurts and your arm doesn't lift properly, don't wait. The longer you delay, the harder it becomes to fix. Look for a clinic that can check, perform the injection correctly, check, provide qualified rehabilitation, and teach you how to continue recovery at home. Just getting a pain relief shot is not enough. Without restoring movement, the problem will come back. Conclusion Your shoulder is an amazing, delicate mechanism designed for freedom of movement. And in most cases, it can be fully restored with the right approach and consistency. Move regularly, strengthen your muscles, and don't ignore your body's signals. If this video was helpful, please like it, subscribe to Energy and Health, and leave a comment below about which joint or pain problem you'd like to learn about next. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video.